now with the Battle Royal Brewing in New York City with the top casinos vying for a spot in the Big Apple. Contessa Brewer has those details for us. What do we what do we know here? They, 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 let me just give you a rough estimate. Five billion dollars in gross gaming revenue for New York casinos. You've got 50 million visitors who come into the metropolitan area. You have 23 million or so people who live in and around New York City. So that's a lot of people <laughs> up for grabs. A Target lot of rich environment. Absolutely. And right now, if those people want to gamble, they have to go to Atlantic City or they have to go upstate or to Connecticut. And this would make another, in a city that never sleeps, it would just be one more mm -hmm. amenity to offer. You can see why the knives would be out and the casinos would be vying for this license. But here's the deal. The state is running a kind of Hunger Games competition where they're telling the casino companies, all right, you want a piece of this? Bid on what your tax rate will be. And let's see who the highest bidder is here. It's not just that. It's also just the license fees alone. That started at half a billion dollars. And my sources tell me at least one casino company has already gone to the lawmakers and said, oh, no, 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 we can top that. We'll bet a billion dollars that you give us the license. And so the competitors who think, Hey, I'm already running, for instance, MGM is up in Yonkers. They run a slots facility. They say, OK, well, now we're forced to match that or do better because we really want one of these licensee, uh, licenses. The scarcity factor is really coming into play here. There you're seeing just, I mean, an incredible number of publicly traded companies, but there are tribes that are vying for this as well, and private casinos that have paired with really well-known uh, real estate developers to try and get this. They're saying multiple properties, six billion, mm -hmm. eight billion dollars that they're ready and willing to invest if they get a license. But to woo the locals, they say, you know what? We're gonna develop this anyway. Sands has said, we'll build something on Long Island. But without the casino license, it can't be a $6 billion resort that's going to attract in tourist dollars. Should, I get how, you know, it's a target-rich place, right? There's all these people, tourists and, and the like. Should, should investors care? The reason I ask is because the stocks, times could be the best of times. The stocks don't do anything. They are the best of times. Well, then what's the problem? The, the, Why is the, Wynn only up 10% year to date? It is Why is as, Las Vegas Sands only up 2%? It is as though those who believe casinos are dinosaurs in the desert <laughs> want to discount entirely the rebound that has happened, and not just in Las Vegas, although Las Vegas continues to be on fire. If you look at Macau, Macau is on track now for $23 billion in gross gaming revenue, and it is still way off of its pre-pandemic levels. It is though there is no credit being given to Wynn, Sands, MGM in Macau. Jim, why is that? Well, I, I think there's been this perception all along that, that the operating uh, success, particularly in Las Vegas, for Wynn is going to fall off a cliff, right? I mean, this has been the leading edge of discretionary spending, and people have worried that a recession is going to hit. But that's going away now, and actually you've seen a bid come back to Wynn. Um, now, in terms of expansion, by the way, I'd say there's three shots on goal for Wynn. It's the continued success in Las Vegas, which we should expect. It's Macau, which, as Contessa just said, is not being given enough credit for. And the third thing, before we get to New York, which they're not even, they haven't even handed out license, Wynn's got a, a expansion project in the UAE, United Arab Emirates, mm -hmm. uh, which they're already building, and that's a great expansion project for them. So, listen, as to why the stocks haven't done well, ultimately the cash flows are there. Scott, you know what I'm going to say. They're buying back shares. What more can I ask for? Well, maybe for some performance. <laughs> maybe for performance. Yeah.